My next guest is Pierre Imov, CEO of Baiduri Bank, one of the leading banking groups in Brunei. The small nation's wealth depends on its oil and gas sector, representing more than 60% of Brunei's GDP. Decades of diversification efforts have yielded small progress, although in recent months the country has seen significant FDI windfalls from China, with investments now totaling over 4 billion US dollars. Pierre, how urgent is Brunei's need to diversify its economy? Oh, definitely it's very urgent. As you rightly said, for many years the country was relying on the oil and gas uh, income. Definitely it is something which is very important to the country, but it's time now to move forward. For for example, there are bodies like DER Dao Salam Enterprise, which is uh, helping the SMEs and the private sector to develop and to diversify. There is another body, uh, the Brunei Economic Development Board, the role of which is to attract foreign direct investment. And as you mentioned earlier, you see more and more investments from abroad, especially from China. It's good for Brunei that uh, oil and gas prices have increased in the last few months. But I think there is now an awareness uh, by everyone in Brunei that uh, diversification is a must. How is Baiduri Bank participating in these efforts? We are working to develop products which are uh, designed to help small companies to finance their uh, working capital, um, to finance their acquisition of uh, uh, premises, but we have also other products which are not strictly related to financing. For example, we have corporate credit cards. Now, you know, uh, even companies are uh, doing a lot of payments online, so it's important. Uh, for smaller companies, which do not have always the means to have a full website, we have developed an app, a merchant suite, to allow these companies to let their clients pay online. We have uh, mobile applications, we have internet banking, of course, so uh, a, a lot of services going beyond uh, pure financing. And on the retail side, how are you helping customers take control of their finances? It's very important that for our retail client, we give them not only the expected services from a bank, but also advices to make sure that our clients are well aware of uh, what they can do and what they should do. So for clients who have excess liquidity, who have some money to place, to advise them uh, where to go, what to do, depending on their uh, risk appetite. And we uh, make sure that uh, when we talk to our client that he will not be in a situation of over-indebtedness. But we go beyond that. We also have what we call free financial uh, assessment, where uh, we provide to our clients some additional information or additional advices for them to know how to plan their retirement, how to finance the acquisition of a, of a home. So we, we are giving a lot of uh, very uh, personalized advice to our clients. And how is Brunei's financial sector evolving along with the global trends in financial services? There is a real digital revolution all around the world. Now it affects uh, the, 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 the financial environment, all banks, and we are working in an environment in Brunei which is techno-savvy. So definitely uh, uh, the country is moving forward to good modernization of the banking environment. And how is Baiduri Bank positioning itself in this context? Baiduri Bank wants to offer uh, to its clients what they expect in terms of digital banking. Definitely, when it concerns banking transactions, it is very important that it is easy, fast and simple. In that respect, with the digitalization, that is what we want to achieve. But we also want our clients to have access to more personalized and human advices, an account officer, a relationship officer with whom they may talk, from whom they may get advice, either on the phone or physically in our branch network. Digitalization is great, but it has to go together with a personalized banking service. Pierre, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click through for more videos with the world's most innovative banks and please subscribe for the latest international business insights 
from worldfinance.com.